days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And you remember, you remember, you go along like this. Hey, you remember when Jesus told the man that was impotent to walk? The, the Pharisee was the first one to sit there and say, w w Why are you carrying that mat? <laughs> he, he, he ain't supposed to be walking on the Sabbath day. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? One told you to walk. You got that right answer. One told you to walk. The other one confronts you with the law. Let me ask you a question. So what along those lines, what does love look like when we talk about manifestations? How does it look? Uh, do we have clear descriptions of it? We know that it look. I mean, if we look at Jesus and say, "Okay, Jesus was manifestation of God. We are love." So as we begin to walk, what what image do we portray? We we got but one image. He just told you we see the glory. The glory, the only place you can see what it looked like is in Jesus. Come on now. <laughs> we just read that verse. But we all with open faces beholding as in the glass the glory of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, Whatever sir. you want to know what this thing looked like, you got you gotta listen. I am now satisfied. I don't care if I will never see it nowhere else. <laughs> Oh, listen, he has already sent you the one image. He said you are without excuse. Why? He said the word was manifest. The apostle said the word was manifest and we see it. Come on now. <laughs> we gonna show you. We gonna show you what we listen. We gonna show you our walking, but our walking is nothing more than what we saw in him. Yes. Yes. He he has the preeminent place. If you want to know what the thing looked like. You need to get in them, in them, in them uh, gospel and put a magnifying glass on Jesus. Does <laughs> every move? It's there. Oh, that thing look like. It's there. <laughs> it's you know, there. Can I, can I say something? Can yes, I can you can, sir. Um, you know, knowledge of a thing gives you perspective. So you can have a situation that appears one thing. Uh -huh. one way or a person may appear one way but knowledge of that person will make them appear another okay for example we'll see a dime with somebody that we perceive like how in the world did this man get this dime okay because we have a perception of that person and likewise a woman will look at a man uh -huh. one way, but if 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 she knows that this man is is wealthy, okay, then she sees something else. Okay. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of people who, before they were famous, couldn't get a woman. Okay. But when they're famous and everybody knows all these women know about them, then all these women perceive them to be a different person. They see him in a different way. Right. So knowledge of a, gives you perspective uh -huh. of something. So the, 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 what we visually see isn't what that person is in its entirety. Okay. So you have to have information about a person and it goes the opposite way. You can have somebody who's handsome or someone who's beautiful and you get to know that person and they are ugly. Right, right. On the inside. Right. So it's knowledge of what's inside of a person yes, that gives you the full perspective right. of a person. Right. Um, so I believe the knowledge that a lot of us get about our Lord and Savior is from someone else's perspective. And perspective is mm. an image, right? Mm. Yes. Yes. And so you don't really know Christ yes. for yourself. You have someone else's image uh -huh. and likeness of Christ. Right. But when you renew your mind, 
and get what you believe is. Oh. Now I'm not saying on your own, but with with someone who is uh, who actually knows and helps you to see. Yeah. Who helps you open your eyes so that you can see what the scriptures are saying, so that you can get your perspective on who God is. It is. I believe mean, that's when you become in a relationship to where you allow yourself to be one yes. with, 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 with Christ and with God. And so when you become one, then that's your image yes. changes because exactly. it is what's within you. Yes, sir. That people tend to see, not what's on the outside. Mm -hmm. Let's get ready for the communion too. If, 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 let's hear about this verse and, and one more thing about image and then the back to the verse in First Corinthians. Second, yeah, second Corinthians chapter three, verse eighteen. I, I'm, I'm back to the king. I, I, I'd like to. I, 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 it's gonna be real helpful when we're having these discussions that we stay with a text. Now, if you got a text, you need to dig out and get everything out of that text that's in there. One of the things that's interesting about this text is, is that he says, but, but we all with open faces beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord. Now, that implied that you see something, you see something, yes. yes. And in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in this realm of spiritual things that are unseen, seeing hinges on really is discernment. Yes. Amen. That, that you can look in the scripture and under the inspiration of God and under what Paul called them in, in Ephesians, that, that he said, I, I, I pray that, that God will grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Enlightened. Right. God